Hello everyone, it's Richard with Home Tech Video. This video I want to do a review on a TP-Link AV1200 power line adapter. This thing claims to have support speeds of up to 1200 megabits per second ethernet over power. Let's go ahead and plug these things in and uh, see what kind of speeds that we can get. Now my first test is going to be a baseline test. I'm going to have two computers that are plugged in via a CAT6 cable directly into my gigabit switch. I'm going to go ahead and run a speed test now and see what we get between the two computers. Now for these tests, I'm going to be using a program called iPerf3. In the top right corner, this box is going to be my computer running in server mode, and it's going to be listening for an incoming request. And the power, Windows PowerShell is going to be my client, and I'm going to ping the server via iPerf3 as a client, and the IP address is 192.168.8.34. It's going to send a couple of packets of data to that computer. And my baseline test comes up with a result of 859 megabits per second. Now let's see what happens when we introduce a power line adapter into the equation. So in this example, I'm going to have the computer that's in the bedroom plugged into the wall via power line adapter. It's going to use the existing uh, power lines that's run through the walls into my closet where my router is, and it's going to be connected to the router via the other power line adapter. And this other cable here is going to be my computer that I have still connected to the switch or into the router via CAT6 cable for testing purposes. So we have two computers isolated in different areas of the house, um, one being directly connected to the router and the other one being connected via power line adapter. So the results on this test were 287 megabits per second. So this is using the power line adapter on the same routing of the wire and not have to go back through the breaker panel. Not even close to 1200 megabits per second. Let's go ahead and see what happens when you move the power line adapter and computer to a different part of the house where the wiring has to go through the uh, breaker panel. So in this last example, we've moved the computer out of the bedroom one and we moved it over into bedroom two and now you notice instead of being connected into the reddish color it's now on a completely different circuit on the green circuit so now the signal needs to travel through the power line adapter to the breaker box in the garage connected to the other circuit that the router is connected to back over into the router so the signal needs to go a lot further distance and through a lot more uh, areas where interference is possible mainly the breaker box in the garage. So let's go ahead and do a final speed test and see what we get with this configuration. So now you see the results on this final test, 24.2 megabits per second. And this is probably how most people are going to use power line adapters because you Usually you're going to use a power line adapter in a far part of the house that wiring is not capable of getting to. Um, you're not going to be using a power line adapter, most likely on the same internal wiring network breaker that is connected and closest to your router. So this is an example why power line adapters are not good to use with uh, systems that result, uh, systems such as IP cameras or anything that you're trying to do high definition streaming with. But they are still out there as an option uh, in as a worst case scenario. But at least you can see the speed drop when the signal needs to go a lot further distance. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you all for watching.